It's it's amazing. G'day, Shu from Your UAV Futures here, and today, well, big apology to whoever I was going to review. I had another video lined up, but I've just been out flying this all morning with Grumpy Trevor, and as soon as I flew, I was like, people need, I need to go home right now, make this video for you guys. It is reminding me so much of when we first saw the Mobula 7 from Happy Model. We came back, and people's minds just exploded with what little crafts can do. Today, we're back with the Happy Model Lava X, and let me tell you, this thing is easily the best one of these little micro ultra lights, super low, whatever you want to call these types of beefed up micro drones under 100 grams and it makes your toothpick look like absolute garbage. I know so many people are going to be getting triggered. Stuart, I've flown this. You don't know what I've done to my Sailfly Red. Whatever your toothpick is, however you've done it, I'm sorry. This thing is better than it. So what we're going to do, we're going to stick this on the bench, this little absolute pocket monster, and you can see why so many people have been just freaking out over this thing when it comes out. You can tell I'm excited. It's under 100 bucks, and it is the best one I have ever flown. So what we're going to do, we're going to break it down, look at the text and the specs, what makes this thing such a cool little craft, especially for the price, which is ridiculous, and how much power it has. And my favorite thing, it is so smooth. When you are flying this, it just... Okay, put it this way, if they said to me, you can tell I'm excited. If they said to me, Stuart, you can't ever fly a big five inch again, all you can ever fly is one of these little things, that would be enough. I'd be like, okay, that's fair enough. I can still have an amazing time with this thing. So what we'll do, we'll put it on the bench, break it down, look at the text and the specs, the really cool stuff that this thing's do. I've also got one to give away, so put your comments down below and all that sort of stuff. I wanna hear about what you think about the Lava X and definitely wait till you see the fly footage. But let's do it, go through the text and specs and then the big one will go out to the field and you'll see what I'm carrying on about. You'll see what Grumpy Trev thinks as well. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna be absolutely gobsmacked when you might even be a bit disappointed if you've already bought another toothpick or something else out there when you can see just what this thing can do. But let's do it. Jump in, look at the nitty gritty as a bit of an overview, stick it on the scales and hopefully you guys can see this. It's coming in at around the 50 gram, that's a bit in the way there, that, that Velcro strap, but it's coming in at 52 grams, 0.61, and it's made to rock a little 3S pack, which is about 20, 23 grams. So uh, you're looking at between 70 to 80 grams, depending on your batteries, all that sort of stuff, total weight. So if you want a little screamer, that sounds inappropriate, but if you want a little quad that's screaming around, and uh, it's coming in under the 100 gram mark, there's never been a better one. And something I really love too, and this is gonna also be apparent in the flight footage, when this thing is ripping around, it is so not obnoxious. It's not making tons of noise, pushing out heaps of air. It sounds almost unnervingly quiet for the amount of power that's coming out of this thing. It is just, I guess the tune is all about putting out the thrust, not making any noise. It just sounds great. It screams through the sky, but you're not gonna be upsetting people. You could fly this anywhere and people are, oh yeah, that's just like a nice little quiet thing that is going a million miles an hour screaming past. So I love the amount of sound this thing makes. Some of the other cool features, it's also got built-in DVR, so you can put a little SD card in there, record your flights without getting any of the static and all that sort of stuff. No, it doesn't do HD, but what it does do well, it's an ultralight little flyer that just screams around with a beautiful tune and has some rock steady, full-size receivers and stuff like that, because you get so many different receiver options. So I think you can get TBS ones or Crossfire compatible ones. You know, I've got one for my D16 Tyrannus sticking out the back. You can get a whole no longer do you need to worry about the little inbuilt ones. It could be a bit iffy. This bad boy just comes with a proper receiver, so you can go as long as you want. But let's do it now. Have a look at the components. That's the overview. A little screamer you take out under 100 grams is beautiful to fly. Some of the components, well, you can see we've got a pretty solid base plate here. I think it's two and a half millimeters, solid carbon, and it's also got these little protective spurs on the outside, so you shouldn't be dinging up any motors or anything like that. Because it's so light, I don't think you are ever gonna break this one, especially with these big struts you're getting between all the arms. Flipping it over, you can see we've got some of the stars of the show, these Happy Model Motors. They're 1103s, 7,000 kVs. They scream, especially when you combine them. Emacs scimitar props on the top. But what I do like is, and I don't know if they actually are official scimitars or something, but you do get a spare set of these props. What I do like, unlike the Red Devil or the Sailfly or some of the other toothpicks out there, this one, you screw your props down. So no longer are they gonna fly off the top. I really think that's a fantastic solution because sometimes when I've been flying around, you really give a quad a toothpick some gusto. That little prop is not going to be secured enough. It's going to fly off the top. There's no chance of that happening when it comes to this one. Now, now moving towards the middle, we've got uh, one of the other stars of the show. 
And that's the Crazy B F4 Pro version of the flight controller, so they've upgraded it. it working, it's working really, really well, and it's also got a 10 amp built-in ES or 4 in 1 ESC in there, uh, OSD, all that sort of jazz. Then we've got our separate own little VTX, which I do like, that has some built-in DVR. So you simply put your little SD card in the side, right here, I wonder if this is gonna be in shot. If not, I'll put a picture on the screen. You put a little SD card in there, and that means you can record your footage when you're flying around without all the static that's coming in sometimes when you get, you know, when you're recording DVR on your goggles, so that's... And then probably something, oh, and that's hooked up just a little dipole antenna at the top. And then something that I probably wasn't expecting, especially for the price range with a receiver and all that sort of stuff, you get a little run cam camera in the front, which looks gorgeous. So you also have an amazing FPV experience when you're flying around. Now, I should say, keep it only on 25 milliwatts. Don't try to change it or anything like that in the smart audio, because when I did do that, uh, it would seem to reboot when it was on the, like, 500 milliwatt setting and all that sort of stuff. So... I really like mine keeping it on 25 milliwatts. That's what you should, that would be my recommendation as well. Even though it looks like sometimes it gives you the option to change it in there, don't do that. Just leave it on the 25 milliwatts. And then of course, like I mentioned, you've got these receivers, you get a battery and uh, this little Velcro. I'm not really a big fan of the Velcro strap underneath. I probably would change that. I don't really like these parts. You've got all this extra bit hanging off here. It doesn't make it, I don't know why, happy model. Just give us some proper Velcro straps that work for these little batteries, please. Don't give us this big, well, let's just, I don't know, just, you've got an amazing craft, just put that little one or two cent extra different Velcro strap in and it is almost like perfection. Now let's move on, talk about the designer thing. I love how we've got onboard DVR, I love how it's super light, everything else in here, the pod, I thought it would be a little bit more susceptible to breakage or anything like that, but after screaming this thing around, putting so many packs through it, a lot of tumbles, it's held up perfectly, no issues whatsoever. Um, and I really think by having these little motor spurs, you are never gonna break this frame. It seems awfully robust, especially considering the weight for under 100 grams. The build quality, well, I guess it is a cheap Chinese bite and fly, and I'm going to say probably 7 out of 10. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. It's probably not as nice as if you did one yourself and direct soldered the motors rather than use plugs and all that sort of stuff. And I do wish that we had, instead of a little dipole, maybe like a little tiny circular polarized antenna or something. But you can't really complain. And then that's bringing it on to the pros and the cons. And let's get the cons out of the way first. Things I don't like. Well... I would like the VTX to be able to boost up a little bit more because then I would just fly this thing everywhere, especially because you've got the range of a full-size receiver. I don't like the Velcro strap and that's, oh, and maybe a little circular polarized antenna. That's it because then let's talk about the things I love. Number one, it is super lightweight. So if you're worried about weight limits or laws or regulations, this thing is amazing. It is so beautiful to fly and you're gonna say, I know I keep saying it, but when you see the footage, it is so smooth. It really feels better than some of my five inches. The way it just hooks around, it just grabs the air. There is no oscillations, no vibrations. It's just a beautiful feeling craft to fly on the sticks. It makes you feel so confident, like you can do anything with it. So the tune is absolutely incredible. The price is ridiculous at around the 100 buck mark. I can't believe what you can actually get for this. And overall, it just, it's just, it just works. Like it's, it's awesome and it's also not noisy. So if you wanna fly this thing outdoors and you live in a place where a lot of people are, no one is gonna give two hoots if you're flying this thing around because it's probably as quiet as like the little tiny hawk, you know, when that thing is flying around. It is super, super low noise when this thing's screaming. So that's it on the bench. You can tell I'm excited, but what I wanna do now, and we're gonna, let's do a little poll. I want you to think about what you think about toothpicks and vibrations and all that sort of stuff. Let's just roll some DVR, we'll be out in the field and you tell me what you think about this thing, especially for the price. I guarantee you're gonna be impressed. So let's do it. Go have some fun in the field in three, two, one. Radio right out here in the field. Gonna have some fun. The Grumpy Man's here. Beautiful day. We've got the Lava X, and we'll just find out from Happy Model how this thing goes. Show you some DVR or whatever it's recording on here. Have some fun and rip it around. All right, let's do it. Okie dokie, here we go. And Stuart, why are you showing the, the recorded DVR instead of the onboard? Don't worry, I'll show you that stuff as well. But the reason I've decided to show you this footage, even with all the static and stuff like that, instead of the onboard DVR recording for most of this flight is because I need that timer on there because I was worried. People like, Stuart, no, you're speeding this thing up. There's no way this little thing could fly that fast because this thing has power to boot. I mean, look at this thing screaming around. you got to remember, this thing is absolutely tiny. It's under 100 grams, and it is doing some full-on hardcore freestyle that is absolutely just mind-blowingly crazy fast, and it is so smooth. So look at the oscillations. What? Where are they? They're, they're not here. So I am so grateful that this thing actually had a timer on here because I was screaming 
screaming it around, but I want people to know, look, it's not sped up or anything like that. This is a tiny little craft that's under 100 grams, just performing beautifully, kind of like the dream toothpick quad. If you want something you can take out of the field, out to the field, fly it around, it's going to be ultra low noise. You can practice all your tricks. You can have a blast. People aren't going to get upset. It's 100 bucks. I kind of just, I don't understand when we get products like this. It makes me feel like, what has the rest of the competition been doing? If this is the crafts we can fly, I, I'm i just kind of blown away. If they said, Stuart, this is all you get. This is all you can ever fly. You know what? Just give me give me another 100 batteries, and I am a very, very happy man. But what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to hand over to Grumpy Trev as well. You can see it's a really, really nice, colorful camera as well, flying this thing around. It looks great in the goggles, especially if you've got some of those new sky zones to pair it up with. It looks beautiful. We'll see what Grumpy Trev thinks. It does suck down the battery a little bit, and I would say, actually, I've got the OSD set up exactly how it comes from the factory. I would like to change that little crosshair in the middle. That kind of is a little bit distracting for me, but luckily, that's easy to turn off. But what we will do, we'll head over to Grumpy Trev, see what he thinks, check out the onboard DVR, but I'd like to know, what do you guys think? You know, the flight times are a little bit short, I should say as well, it does suck down the juice, but what do you guys think when it's screaming around? Do you think it looks better than your toothpick that's out there and some of the other toothpicks you've seen? And what do you think for the price? Because as far as I'm concerned, it is hands down one of the best quads we have ever flown, and especially at this size. You can just, just tell them excited. I mean, look at it. It's bloody beautiful if i don't say so myself but let's do it hand it over to the grumpy man see what he thinks and uh have some more fun with the uh, lava x okie dokie trev this is the happy model lava x same guys who made the mobula 7 about a year ago and what was this like in the air on your first impressions as well yeah well i was uh pretty impressed uh it looked good but not surprised because happy model I haven't seen a really bad quad come out of those guys. Most, they do their homework, usually the tunes come pretty well. So I'm a bit like you. I can't wait to fly this because it looked really good. Um, and I love happy model stuff. It sounded so, quiet too, didn't it? Yeah, it did. And it, the how quiet it was didn't reflect how fast it was going because it was going like a bullet, I can tell you now. Um, so that was surprising me. All right, should we uh, put it through its paces? Yeah, hurry up. <laughs> 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 yes, it's got some go. It sounds so Jeez. smooth. You know, it it doesn't sound fast, but it's so quiet. But the tune is just... Is it fast? It's friggin' quick. I, I'd it say is, that means there's a lot less... It's just probably efficient. There's not, oh, It's not making noise, it's making power. No, that's right. It's... Oh, it's, geez, it's nice to fly. I can't believe the price of this thing. It's 98 bucks US, so if you don't buy one of these guys, you're friggin' nuts. This, look, I've thrown, this is, I've thrown quite a few toothpicks now. This is as good as the best of them. Okay, is this the best little micro, ultra, whatever it is, quad under 100 grams you've ever flown? Uh, for the money, yes. Okay, what's better than this? The uh, Beta FPV. Okay. But it's a lot more expensive too, but uh, this is friggin' great. Oh. Then there's not a big difference either, by the way. You just asked me which one was the best. Yep. I think that one is the best, but for the money, this one is... She whiz. This is... I can't believe how cheap it is. Look, it's so much fun. Look at this, bloody hell. I just don't, oh. <laughs> it's so much fun to fly. Look, I know this is probably a bit like repeating myself, but if they told me I couldn't fly a five inch or anything bigger tomorrow and I can only fly one of these, I wouldn't give two shits. This is so much fun to fly. Just as much fun. All right, who do you think it's made for? Anybody. Oh, look, you're crazy if you don't buy one of these. Like you could fly these, these aren't intimidating too, so. You know, if you're around a few people, they're not going to go crook because you can hardly hear it. I can't believe how long I'm flying this. I've been flying this hard. It's nearly th oh, two and a half minutes, but it's starting to uh, flash up the battery now, but... Oh, jeez, it's so much fun. All right, I did push that battery, it's gonna, it's gonna fall out of the sky, so I'll bring it in. All righty, Trev. 
Final thoughts on the Lava X out of 10 uh, in terms of performance. Oh, uh, look, performance out of 10, it's got to be a 10. Okay, and for 100 bucks? For 100 bucks, it's got to be a 10. <laughs> uh, I don't give 10 in, 10s out easy, but this thing here, look, you can wear it as a ring as well if you want, you know, if you're that way in fashion, but <laughs> the value is there, guys. It really is. That was just so much fun. And look, I think the durability is there. The frame looks really, really good. Um, yeah. You're probably going to crash this a bit too because they go fast and they're fun. You look, you're worried about weight. These things under 100 grams with a battery. Uh, so fly them anywhere, guys. A lot of fun. Uh, nice. Thanks, Trev. Alrighty, so there it is. There's my review of the little toothpick killer, I guess you could say, or the only toothpick you guys are ever going to need. What we've got, the Lava X from Happy Model. Hats off to them. And I'm going to say it's just 10 out of 10 in my book. It is very rare that I get so excited about a little craft where something comes along. I was kind of getting a bit over these, to be honest. We've seen so many little brushless whoop evolutions to whatever these ultra lights super lights have become this one it's the king of them all and it puts the others to shame after flying sailflies red devils toothpicks the diatome ones whatever there is this bad boy absolutely screams and i can't believe the price and with full size receivers you're gonna have an awesome time so anyway look i'm gonna put the link down below remember i'll leave a comment because uh, i got one of these to give away to you guys out there as well so check the official rules and all that sort of stuff but essentially i want to know what you think about it on that subscribe Subscribe for more FPV related content. I'm sorry if you're getting a bit triggered or uh, you know it's making you be a bit unhappy with your older toothpick or something like that. But as far as I'm concerned, for the price, everything this does, the onboard DVR is just a bit of a bonus. It's just an absolute screamer that is gonna let so many people have an awesome time in this hobby. I do just wish they'd give us, I, I'm gonna go buy some batteries right after filming this. I need to buy more little batteries. I'll put a link down below, um, yeah, to get some extra batteries. And I'm gonna be a bit sneaky because I'm gonna make sure I buy some first before I put this video out because I want more. I wanna fly this thing, that's, that's how much I love it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Subscribe for more FPV related content. Sorry I was so excited, I'm sure. It's not every day we get a product like this, so I'm sure you can understand. And as always, happy model, happy model flying, happy, happy flying. I don't know. Anyway, happy flying. It's, it's f***ing amazing. Like, it, uh, it's probably the best toothpick one I've ever flown. Like, this small size class puts everything else to shame. I just can't believe how smooth it is. It's, it's like, it, the, the tune is one of the best tunes of any quad I have ever flown. You know, normally you get a little bit of bobble or something with a small little one. Yep. God, and I think the voltage, I'm like, oh, it's going to be gone soon, but it just still keeps on going. Yeah, a bit deceiving, aren't you? When you give them full throttle, they drop a fair bit, but it recovers really quick. I almost, I'm not going to say any more. I want you to fly it.